I don't know how some people find enough stuff to do a favorites video every month. Like, I really don't. I haven't done a favorites video in quite a long time, and that is purely because I am lazy. I don't really find things that I consider, like, my favorite thing that often. These are things that I have been using or been enjoying, and I'm kind of going to group them into, like, summer favorites. Even though summer hasn't technically ended yet, for me, summer always ends with July. <laughs> My hair looks so weird on camera. So first, I'm going to start with makeup since I have quite a few, I guess. I have, I have more makeup than anything else in my favorites for summer. First is something I just recently ran out of because I used it so much. It is the Sephora eyebrow pencil. It's just the Sephora brand, it doesn't really have a name or anything. And although it is a little bit pricey, in my opinion, I thought I would give it a try because I heard from, I think, Jackie Ina that it was really good. In one of her videos she talked about how she liked it, so I thought I would try it out. I'm obviously not wearing it today because I ran out of it, but I wore number four, which is Midnight Brown. Like I said, this was $12 at Sephora. It didn't last very long, I will say that. It didn't last as long as you'd think. Like, it's really long, but I'm pretty sure there's only product, like, up to there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it does have a cute little brush on the end that I never used because it's not very helpful. <laughs> and it's also waterproof, which is cool. Yay! Next, I got actually the same day that I got the eyebrow pencil. And it is also quite expensive, but my mom talked me into it. I wasn't okay with paying $24 for a concealer, but I actually quite fell in love with it. And it, it's the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. You've probably seen, like, everybody talking about this, which why I bought it. I got L5 neutral for myself because it matched the best when I swatched them. They're all very dark. <laughs> I know Kat Von D is known for like her lighter foundations and stuff, but all but two of the concealers were way too dark to even conceal anything. This doesn't look like it would work just like compared to my skin, but I have it on right now and I think it looks really good. I'm pretty sure this is waterproof even though it doesn't say it is because when I was washing out my beauty blender it would not budge until I started scrubbing it with soap. It's a it's a good concealer in my opinion. The only thing is uh, if you use it to cover your eyelids as like a primer, I did it a couple of times when I was just quickly doing my makeup, um, it does start to crease even if you set it with powder. But underneath it seems to be doing really good. The next two things I actually also bought together, but not when I bought the previous two things. First one, I have to clean it off because my fingerprints are all out, is the Hydroxytone Skin Perfecting Air Cushion Compact. I bought this at Kohl's for $7 because it was on clearance and I wanted to try a cushion foundation. It is just a normal cushion foundation. I got the shade light, which was expectedly too dark for my skin, but it was either that or tan, and I really wanted to try it, so I went with it. It is a high SPF foundation, it's SPF 40, which is amazing, and I really like it even though it's too dark for my skin. It doesn't feel like you have a crazy amount of foundation on, or like too much on, it doesn't feel cakey, and I'm pretty sure it would be buildable even though I didn't need to, I just wanted light coverage. It is, I think, not on sale anymore, which sucks. I looked it up when I got home and I couldn't really find it anywhere online. And I believe it's a regular $36, so, like, I don't know if I would repurchase even if they did still sell it, because I'm extremely cheap when it comes to makeup, but... Next up is an eyeshadow palette that I bought the same day that I bought the foundation. I also got it at Kohl's, and it was like $14.80 or something, which was the clearance price. It's I don't remember what the actual like retail price for it is, but oh, my nails look so gross. <laughs> Just ignore that. It is the Butter London Pantone palette. I think I said that right. And the colors are super pretty. I have used this one, this one this one and this one I think so far, and then a little bit of this one. And they go on really well. They're easy to blend. They're not too heavy, if that makes sense. They're not too chalky. 
and I just, I really like them. I haven't tried the greens yet because I haven't been that brave. <laughs> I'm sure they'll go on really nice. I swatched them in the store and they were like creamy, buttery powder and it was just so nice. I have a couple of them on right now but you can't totally see because my camera is piece of shit. I have never gotten to try anything by the butter brand before so I was really excited about that. <laughs> Next we're going to move on to like fashion, I guess, um, and the first thing is a pair of shoes that I found at the thrift store. I had been looking for a pair of black sandals that didn't have that like toe thing. I hate flip flops. I don't know why. I hate flip flops. So I was trying to find sandals that I could put on as easy as flip flops, but that weren't as annoying as flip flops. I found these kind of cool sandals at the thrift store for like less than three dollars and they were in amazing condition like i've probably worn them to this point like the wearing them out but they were like brand new when i found them i really like them they were super uncomfortable at first but i have gotten used to it <laughs> next is a grouping of items that i can't actually show on camera it's too much work they're in my closet i don't feel like taking them out but in general i have been loving rompers and like jumpsuits lately I have so many rompers or jumpsuits or play suits, whatever you want to call them. I have the the long pant versions and then I have the shorts version and like so easy to just put on and then go out the door. You don't have to worry about anything. They've been something I've quite enjoyed. Next, I, as usual, have some K-pop favorites. Talking about my, my summer favorites in general, so I liked it when it came out and obviously it's been out for a while now, but winners song really really that came out I don't know was it like a month ago or so it's such a good song the video is kind of like funky next k-pop song is actually not exclusively a k-pop song because it's in English but Neil from B2B released a solo single for a B2B project where they all get to release their own solo song and it's called that girl and it's all in English and it is such a good song so be and like summery. I don't know. I, just, I love it so much. I've been so obsessed with it specifically this week because the dance practice video came out for it and I'm someone who almost has more fun watching dance practices than I do watching actual music videos. <laughs> My last K-pop song is quite old. I think it's like two years old or something but I found it again recently and I'm just... I don't know. I became like obsessed with it and started listening to it all the time. I by Taeyeon featuring Verbal Jint is kind of one of her more powerful ballad songs. It's not really meant to be like a dance song, but it's more upbeat than a true ballad would be. I don't know, I just, I really like it. And the video is so nice to watch and it's really calming somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to YouTube channels because I haven't really talked about those in a favorites video, I think, in a long time. I believe I only have two today to talk about. This is Kendall Ray, and she makes pretty exclusively like creepy conspiracy theory type videos and videos about missing people and murderers and stuff like that, and it's just something that is right up my alley and I find it so interesting. <laughs> I think the cool thing about her is she doesn't put on like a scary voice or try to be over dramatic. I really like how fresh her videos seem because a lot of the time there's information in her videos that I didn't even know, even if it's a case that I was familiar with or a conspiracy theory that I was familiar with. So lastly, Edward Avila, is that how you say his last name? I always forget. He says it in his videos and I always forget, but he makes beauty videos and also posts vlogs and stuff like that and I just find him so fun to watch because he seems really real. Those people that you kind of watch and you're like, oh, I wish I was friends with that person. Uh, and I've always been really interested in watching guys do makeup for some reason. Like, I just really like watching it. He has a cool style. So that's it for my favorites video for the summer, <laughs> even though the summer's not over yet. Hopefully this was somewhat entertaining for somebody. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the swing of making YouTube videos. I just don't have ideas at the moment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.